The National Emergency Management Organization, NEMO, is urging members of the public to remain in a state of constant preparedness. NEMO, while still conducting damage assessments in the aftermath of the passage of Hurricane Elsa, highlighted the unpredictable threat of natural disasters, especially during the hurricane season. We get details in this report. The National Emergency Management Organization, NEMO, continues to assess the impact of the passage of Hurricane Elsa to roads, infrastructure, lives and livelihoods with a view of returning St. Lucia to a sense of normalcy. Director of NEMO, Doreen Gustav, sees the opportunity to offer condolences to the family and loved ones of Peter Victor Fosse Jacques, who lost his life during the passage of the hurricane. The director, noting the devastation caused by Hurricane Elsa, urged members of the public to ensure that they remain in a constant state of preparedness. Nemo received reports of partial and total damage to homes throughout the island. On Saturday, July 3rd, the Prime Minister, an official from Infrastructure and myself, did an aerial reconnaissance to have a view of the damage and as was mentioned previously, the damage to the banana fields were quite visible. Indeed, the agriculture sector suffered extensive damages. Please be reminded that we are still in the midst of an active Atlantic hurricane season. And based on the destructive nature of these tropical activities, you are advised to continue with the hurricane preparedness if you have not done so. Your preparedness plan should include, for example, a family plan, a business plan, assessment around your home and property to identify the hazards. The director reminded the public of the very real and present threat and danger of such disasters which have only worsened due to the impact of climate change. These disasters continue to threaten societies, both economically and socially, as well as lives and livelihoods. We have about 15 more storms remaining, and it takes only one to cause catastrophic effect on any one country. With the rise in climate change, we have seen the rapid intensification of hurricanes. For example, Tropical Storm Elsa, changing rapidly into a hurricane within a short space of time. This behavior could have only be made possible due to climate change and the effects of climate change on our small island development states, and this could only be mitigated through preparedness. Preparedness also builds on the resilience of people, and as a nation, it is our desire to become resilient. Hurricane Elsa passed over the island on Friday, the 2nd of July, 2021.